Miss Teen USA 2019 is... She is, and she is here live in the studio right now. We have the queen here, Miss Teen USA. Uh, Kaylee, welcome here to the show. This is so cool. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> this is great. So how long have you been competing? When did you start pageants? So I started pageants when I was eight years old, and I had to, like, convince my mom to, to let, let you do me, it. <laughs> to let me do it. And so I only did one pageant a year, and they were all natural, so I wasn't allowed to wear makeup or anything until the age of 13. Oh. oh. Yeah. And then just from there, my dad wanted me to start competing in scholarship pageants, so get some money for college going. Mm -hmm. and that makes sense. Here I am. And look at that. And now you're going to be going to Southern, right? Yes, I'm uh, attending Southern Connecticut State University, and I am a nursing major. Very so cool. I'm really excited to start yeah. my year there. Well, I know you do some volunteer work at Yale also, right? Yeah, so um, previously in high school, I got to volunteer on the pediatric floor, so that was a lot of fun. I got to hold babies and, like, uh, play with them, clean their toys and stuff like that. So that was a lot of fun. That's great. That's awesome. You're doing great work out in the community. And, and it means so much more than just like a, it's, it's not just a beauty pageant. You guys do so no. much in the community. Yeah. Talk we to do, us about that. We do so much. And it's like not for us, it's also because we just love helping out. Sure. And so even today, I'm going to uh, Walnut Beach. There's a farmer, farmer's market there. I'm doing oh, a little Oh, we can meet you. Yeah, we're playing with the kids there. And uh, we're big proponents on the smile train. We get to work with them. So. It's a lot of fun helping out. Now about being from New Haven, I mean, it's cool that you're able to go to that national stage and represent the Elm City. What was that moment like for you to, to represent Connecticut? It was insane because Connecticut only had one previous Miss Teen USA, Logan West, and so being able to be on that stage just representing Connecticut and also just competing with my natural hair, which was a big step for a lot of people out there. So yeah. being able to compete and and promote Connecticut was sure. Oh, we're just so proud fantastic. of you. Was there a moment where we were like, hey, I got this? Or was it a real surprise at the end? It could have gone either way. So it's so weird. I always try to explain it. It's like this feeling that you have consistently and you don't realize till after the pageant. Because usually I know if I'm like, have one very nervous moment, mm -hmm. then I'm okay and sure. I'll do fine. Yeah. But it's like throughout the week, I was telling myself, like, you need to get out of your head because you are going to be the only person that brings you down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you don't. You're just there, and I told myself, just go and have fun sure. because it's like you can't stress about winning because that's not what we're going for. You're going to meet so many amazing girls there, mm -hmm. and just for the experience and just getting there and being on that stage was amazing. We, we've had Cami Crawford, who is a former uh, Miss Teen mm -hmm. USA here on the show. Yeah. Now she's out in Hollywood doing big things. So it's like, I mean, I mean, certainly an opportunity for you to get your platform out there and, and help other people. So, so what is your platform with that? And yeah, you... so I started We Are People First. Mm -hmm. So I go out in my community and I go to schools and talk at different events about how to eat properly use people first language so instead of saying the autistic boy you say the boy with autism mm -hmm. because I have a sister with multiple disabilities and growing up a lot of people would stare at her and kind of give our family like weird looks and it I didn't understand why because my sister is my normal right. and so I really just wanted to teach people like hey they're not that different like they may have to um, alternate how they do certain things and make things a little bit different so that they can do them as well sure. but it's like they can still that's do so them. Important. Yeah. Still a person right yeah that's that's so sweet and uh, what's next for you. I mean, I, I know you're going to nursing school. Wait, and where's you your have... crown? Oh, it's in this, it's in, it's at this universe headquarters right oh, now. Oh, wow. you don't have it yet? No, no, I don't, I don't keep it. Don't it stays keep there. It stays in the safe there, huh? Your sash, I get it. Yeah. What is it made of? I mean, is it like pure... Is it like, heavy? Do you know the... It's a little, a little heavy. I'm not sure what it's made okay. of, but I keep it very safe. Yeah. yeah. Well, the sash is beautiful, too. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cool. Well, we can come out and see you. It's all happening today at Walnut Beach. Walnut Beach happens every Thursday, so I'm How there today. Fun. Very cool. We'll have to check it out. There's all the information. One more time, you can meet and greet with Kaylee. And if uh, some of our viewers want to follow you on social media and all the awesome yeah. work that you're doing, where, where can we check you out there? You can follow me. All my handles are Kaylee Garris on all social media platforms. Simple we'll find easy. you. Cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank and you good so luck much. to you. Thanks for having me. So, so awesome. All right. Stay with us. More CT Style coming up after the break.